Monday, April 29th, and the crew of Expedition 35 is hard at work on board the International Space Station. Starting off with the current Expedition 35 commander, Chris Hatfield, from the Canadian Space Agency. He's working over in the NanoRacks payload on board the station, which uh, has a number of uh, different science experiments from uh, a wide range of disciplines. He'll be working with the microscope inside of the NanoRacks, doing some analysis on some of the crystal plates found in one of the modules. He'll also be doing some microbiology air sampling on board the station as part of the ongoing uh, checks of the health system on board, uh, and also doing some crew departure prep as Commander Hatfield prepares to return home uh, from the International Space Station uh, about two weeks from now on May 13th U.S. time. He'll be joined by uh, Flight Engineer Tom Marshburn and Roman Romanenko. Uh, the three have been on board the International Space Station since launching back in December of 2012. Uh, moving on, uh, throughout our crew we have our Flight Engineer 1, Pavel Vinogradov. Uh, he'll be busy inside of the Russian segment today working with uh, that recently docked Progress resupply ship. He'll be transferring out uh, some of the cargo from that. That Progress 51P docked successfully back on Friday, and he'll be working to unload some of the items uh, that were delivered to the station. Uh, he'll also be working to transfer some fluids over to the uh, also docked 50 Progress vehicle um, before moving on to a study a little bit later today of the cardiac bioelectric activity. Uh, while at rest, that'll be a uh, task all three of our Russian cosmonauts, Vinogradov, Mazurkin, and Romanenko, will be doing uh, in concert. Flight engineer number two, Alexander Mazurkin, started off his day very early this morning doing some uh, saliva and blood collection for uh, biological uh, studies on board the station to track the human body's uh, progress throughout long-duration space flight. We'll also be doing some uh, routine computer updates to a number of the controlling laptops throughout the Russian segment. Also doing some hardware monitoring with the Russian Matryoshka experiment. That's a radiation monitoring experiment uh, named after the famous Russian nested doll sets. NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy uh, also starting his day off fairly early this morning uh, right out of bed doing some urine and blood sample collections and then storing them inside of the uh, minus 8 degree freezer. And then right now is working with the BASS experiment. BASS standing for the burning and suppression of solids. It's an ongoing investigation that it looks to examine the burning and extinction characteristics of uh, various fuel samples in microgravity. So that'll be taking up most of his time today. Uh, meanwhile, our third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko, uh, right off the bat started with the Sprut uh, experiment. It's a Russian look into uh, how the body adapts to the zero gravity environment and the unfavorable impact that that generally has on uh, how well their body stays hydrated. Uh, aside from that, he'll be doing some handover work a little bit later with uh, one of the newer crew members, Alexander Mazurkin, as Romanenko prepares to uh, depart a little bit later on in May. And he was also working with the countermeasure system inside of the Russian segment in the Zvezda service module, checking out for any harmful contaminants. And then our final crew member, uh, Tom Marshburn, working with the environmental health system on board the International Space Station, taking some surface samples uh, throughout, looking at the uh, microbiological microbiolo footprint uh, of many of the surfaces throughout the U.S. segment. He'll be collecting those and incubating them in a si uh, device on board the station. He's also on the hook to uh, clean out their portable water dispenser. And then finally do uh, a little bit of crew departure work alongside uh, Commander Hatfield as he also prepares to return home uh, on May 13th. Our upcoming coverage for all of the landing events uh, kicking off with Sunday, May 12th, where we'll have the formal change of command ceremony where Chris Hanfield will hand off command of the International Space Station uh, to Russian cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov. And then on Monday, May 13th, throughout the afternoon and the evening, we'll be bringing you coverage uh, as that Soyuz departs, starting off with hatch closure and ending with their eventual landing in Kazakhstan.